Tarkov is a game that seemingly no one enjoys, but yet we can't stop playing it. We love that rush of going into a fresh raid, spending hours getting the best loot in the game, only to be one shot by a pixel three servers away, losing pretty much all of that progress. Now, usually when you die in Tarkov, it can seem incredibly unfair, usually someone you never see coming, and most of the community refers to this as being Tarkov'd. <laughs> But another popular game theory is the person that killed me was obviously hacking. Now, that's an excuse I would make playing Modern Warfare when I was like 13. But Tarkov, unironically, has some of the worst hacking I've ever seen in a video game. Apparently, up to 60% of all raids you join, there will be at least one person in that server using some kind of hack to see everyone in the map. It is madness, and it probably makes Battlestate games so much money because they'll ban the hacker, and then the hacker will just spend more money to get another key to hack again. Oh, we get it in 2K. Oh, we've been treated well tonight. Some people claim that there's a cheater in every single lobby and others declare they've never been killed by a cheater. The truth is most likely somewhere in the middle. But how can you know? I'll be honest with you. I I've played Tarkov myself. I absolutely hate the game. I, I, I get bodies on that. Every time you get killed in Tarkov, it'll be someone like 300 miles away that you, you can't even see. The plan, number one, we will find a cheater. This should not be difficult. This is Escape from Tarkov we're talking about here. <laughs> I've seen this common like meme going around as well. Like if you get killed unfairly in Tarkov, it's called Tarkov. So if you get like a really shitty unfair kill, like someone throws a grenade, you don't even hear it. It blows you up. The top comment will always be, oh, he got Tarkov. Ooh. We will spectate said cheater. And we will observe their gameplay using their ESP. Number three. We will find the cheater overlord and we will destroy them. Whoa, easy tiger. We got a little overzealous there. Number three. We will figure out how many cheaters there are in every Tarkov raid using the cheater's ESP knowledge. So he's basically using cheats to find cheaters. If you watch this video, it will change the way you look at first person shooters, especially games like Escape from Tarkov forever. If you enjoy playing Escape from Tarkov and you're having a great time, keep playing the game. And it may not be a bad idea just to not watch this video. But who has ever said that they enjoy Tarkov though? Who has ever said that they've actually enjoyed the game? I know people that put thousands of hours into it and they are depressed. You will spend like 20 hours getting the best loot in the game. You go on one, one raid, you get one shot, no insurance. Or you do get it insured and they just steal it anyway. But if you're frustrated with the cheating situation and you want to know how bad it is, this is the video for you. The game developers are most likely going to copyright strike and try to take down this video. If that occurs, I have a video ready to go. It doesn't contain any game footage and I will put it up immediately. And if this video is still up on YouTube, you can try to make a copy of it and download it. Um, I'm not going to go into details there. I'm sure you know how to use Google. Now back to the video. Step. I like how he was so worried about being silenced about exposing this, but he ate good. Look at this. One million views in three days and he's only got 60k subs. He ate good. Step one, we need to find a cheater. This was not hard. <laughs> how'd you find a cheater in Tarkov? I don't know. There are over a thousand people online right what now. What is that? It's some kind of like melted Wojak. <laughs> and you don't even need to be in the Discord to get the cheats. They have sales? And check out this. In early February, they had 4,000 concurrent users connecting to the servers at one time. And this is just one cheat developer of many. It is madness how, like, people will pay money to cheat in a game. Like, it, I, I've never thought of anything more miserable. Like, it, it, it's basically the equivalent of a crack addiction. You are paying money, probably monthly as well, because it's like a paid online service, to basically feel that you're better than someone else. Like, I imagine using hacks, like, one time when you're, like, you know, 14. That'd be hilarious, right? Like, like, like anyone would do that. But then to go and do it consistently and have all these burner accounts and smurf accounts, it, it's just pathetic. Do you remember Evoker? He was the cheater I interviewed and shadowed in my video, Messy Truth About Hacking in Video Games. He has some pretty fancy cheats that would be very useful to collect the information I needed. And even though I vowed to keep him anonymous, he knew that the cheat devs could figure out if he was the one who leaked the footage. Evoker was more worried about getting caught by the cheat developer than the game developer. Let that sink in. You're just describing Twitter blue. Yeah, true. I, I think, uh, honestly, I think Twitter blue and buying Tarkov hacks, they're both the same kinds of people. They, they, they need to put their like, brain to sleep. The cheat developers are more careful and restrictive with their software than the game developer. Evoker was out. So I took matters into my own hands and installed some cheats. And five minutes later, I was a real hacker. But before we go on this cheater catching rampage, we need to set some ground rules. Number one, fresh account. I'm not playing on my main account. Number two, no killing PMCs, even if I think they're cheating. Number three, no transferring of loot, 
no boosting, and no playing with anyone else. And number four, after a few days of testing, reset the account. So it's like he's doing all these prerequisites because he knows the Tarkov devs are going to watch and he doesn't want to be like that phase K kid that was like crying as he got banned on Fortnite. This is the start of a normal match in Escape from Tarkov. It's a night raid, so it's harder to spot players. Unless you flip on ESP, you can see the player's level, kill to death ratio, their distance. You don't need to know their KD. That's how it might as well just show their like IP and home address when you turn it on. Skeleton, everything was cheap. And this isn't even I like our location isn't enough. It's gonna have KD. Last time his mom like kissed him on the cheek. In addition to that, you have radar down in the bottom right hand corner. It shows everything, including the AI bots. I witness a player with a high KD drop someone on the way in. I plan to creep up and just see what he does. And while I creep up, this other player surprises me. Yes, even with ESP and radar, you can still get surprised. I follow my rule and let the PMC kill me. I can't tell you how many raids this happened in. He's doing what they do in CSGO. You know CSGO has that Overwatch function where you watch clips to see if people are hacking? It's like that. Big team fight that was going down. A few players had already died. That's what that white default inventory text is. I gave them several opportunities to get spooked. I even jumped up in this tree to really test them. And nothing. A player scav rolled up and I decided to have a little fun. And yeah, I'm using a voice changer. Don't shoot. Don't shoot, okay? Play cool? Come over to the tree. Come over to the tree. I would be so scared hearing that voice. Yeah, there's two. It's painfully clear that these two chads are legit. How refreshing. Whoa, 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 don't shoot! We have a fun little interaction and we go our separate ways. I saw you uh, looting. Oh, it, it highlights the, uh, I didn't even notice this on the radar. It highlights red when they're actually looking at him or like facing in his direction. The only thing that this this hack is missing is like a fucking magnet just so you can like clip onto everything. You guys were staying still. I could have popped you in the head. I, I, I made a pack now to kill PMCs. I'm kind of doing a quest. Okay. You guys don't want to lose crack house, right? You guys can just pass through. How about that? Okay, I'm going to go through the big wall. Hey, just... Hey, no, don't flank me. Just leave me alone. <laughs> a player scab? Why are you teaming up with a player scab? Listen, man. I'm not telling you what to do with your life. I thought... Maybe things aren't that bad. However, I didn't really have a solid plan to determine if someone was cheating or not. How can you know? I load into a night raid and I look around the map and I decide to check out this low level high KD player. I imagine like you should just have the logic. If he killed me, he's hacking. That'd be so black and white. Every person you kill in Tarkov was not a hacker. Every person that kills you was hacking. I roll up, glance down at the radar and he locks onto my position. He lies down. Is this my first cheater? Did I find one? No. No. Just he's prone. literally just AFK. He was Honestly, looking at me. He's hacking. But then... I discovered a secret weapon, the wiggle, and the wiggle was all I needed. What is the wiggle? Ah! Oh. I can't believe it. Two legit players showed up, and I watched the cheater destroy them. Oh my God! I went to the roof to see what he would do, and he was stuck in a healing animation. I'm like spazzing out right now. His, the trial for his hacks expired. <laughs> I, I just imagine it's like AOL dial-up sound or something. It's like, oh shit, I gotta renew my premium membership to Gigafar Hack Tech. Like, can you use your gun? Even cheaters can get Tarkov. No. Another player rolled up and I died to him. And if you question if that wiggle was completely random. He didn't pay premium, so he just had like a 30 second ad play after he killed the two guys. He sent me a message in game after Win the fact. free trial. Cheaters change their names all the time. The next day he had already changed his. What's so brilliant about the wiggle is that it shows the other hacker that I cheat. If they respond to it by wiggling back, it confirms that they have ESP. And that's what I wanted. I wanted them to show their hand. In the hacking community, a wiggle is a form of a truce, a peace offering. Armed with this new information, I went back into raid to track down another cheater. The ESP tells you who is on a team. And here we have team one and team two. And I figured I could find out if the winner was legit or not. Team one gets third party, but handles the threat quickly. Killed them. The team two guys, look how much they, they backed off. They're not even fighting over their friends' bodies anymore. They're just back there sitting in the gas station. What are they doing? It's so bizarre. You see that happen. You've seen it happen a few times, right? That's why for the channel, Kel Kel, you're hearing. She plays Tarkov as well. We speculated it was possible that both teams might have someone who's not legit. Wait, women play video games? Holy shit. When the ESP turns red, it means there is a direct line of sight to the target. I tested team one several times and this guy's not watching his ESP if he is hacking. I was pretty confident they're not cheating. He just, he, he cuts out the clip where he just headshot him. The dust settles and I try the wiggle. Uh-oh. I 
Oh, he's 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 wiggling. Look. <gasps> How? Okay. I, I'm not even doing this as a bit. There are actually a comedic amount of cheaters on Tarkov. Do, do they just not have any kind of anti-cheat? What's what's their anti-cheat? Is it just is it just McAfee or something? I don't like 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 that. That is actually embarrassing. How he's finding a hacker every single game. It's Battle Eye. Okay, that explains it. Battle Eye. Battle Eye is like it, it reminds me of like the flex tape meme where the where the guy slaps flex tape on on the leaking barrel. Yep. Malware bites. Does that mean the whole he took team? Out his rebel. He took out his right rebel. <gasps> Does that mean the whole team is cheating if he's doing that? Let's see what happens when I when I come over. Oh, he's not looking away now. What the hell? This guy takes a few pot oh. shots at me, and I let the cheaters take care of him. I, I noticed that as soon as he jumped over that fence, the hacker looks the other way. That scav up there lit me up. Do your voice changer. Oh, that scav? Yeah, dude. Up on the hill. He's he lit, Unless one of you shot at me, I don't think you did. No, nah, no, nah, we were shooting at that scab up there. That was very difficult to figure out that those guys were hacking. Yeah, yeah. He took out his red rebel the second I took out my Yep, map. yep. That whole team. 100% cheating. That whole team. That whole team. Sometimes I would just antagonize a cheater with the wiggle to get them to rage hack on me, and it works. Uh-oh. I know this guy's getting so annoyed. You are He's so loud in Tarkov when you move, though. Level 11. I can keep up with you, buddy. Hello there, sir. Hello there, sir. Warning shot. Whoa. Imagine a hacker. Like, the hacking meta in Tarkov has got that bad that hackers are just warning other hackers that they're hacking. Like, I have never known a game where there are hackers battling hackers because it is just that overcrowded with people that use cheats. Usually, it's just one person that joins the lobby and they, they, they just fuck up everyone's day. But now it's like... It's like half the server could actually be hacking. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I found it. Did he have a stroke or something? I don't get it. I didn't even hear a bullet noise. I didn't, I, I didn't even hear a bullet hit him. Hey there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Must be like allergies or something. And after this guy gets this insane nade kill, I sneak up on their position. Let's just got a one tap. He's gonna he one tap. steps left and right, and I track him to show them that I'm watching. Yeah, it's like it's like he is hacking, but he knows that if he pops around the corner and shoots him through the bush, that, that there's no way that it's not gonna look like he's hacking. He knows I have ESP, and he doesn't like it. Yeah, what are you gonna do? He's looking right at him. Show me your hand. His buddy's moving in to help him out. They assume I'm gonna just like aim bottom, I bet. He must have the grenadier task or something because he's looking for nades to throw at me. And before I make any noise, they just start talking. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, I'm not, I have a starting pistol out. I don't have any ammo. You gotta, whoa. I set my sights on this very high KD player. He had just dropped somebody. I approach carefully. He notices I'm getting close and look how precise his lock is on the radar. Tarkov game theory. In today's game theory, can we find a single person on Tarkov that isn't using hacks? Sometimes I'd run into a cheater on the way to another cheater. He snaps. It's the fact that like, as a PMC, you've usually got like so much body armor on. You still just get one tapped anyway. Unless you're a scav and you go up against a PMC and then you'll you'll unload a 12 gauge buckshot into their brain. But because they've got like a, a, a baseball cap on, all, all the bullets just ricochet off it. To me as I get close. He closes the door and the wiggle. Once I developed the strategy, I started investigating more people in every single raid. Whoa, bro. Hey, man, I'm, I'm back. I joined the stream and I thought Pyro was hacking for a second. No, <laughs> it's a video. You can literally hear the guy talking over it. Get off, bro. Have a knife. And who are you fooling with the fake TTV name? All right, cool. All right, cool. Listen, dude, I, I'm not trying to like fuck with you. I just was saying hi. I'm just doing the wiggle, you know? If you're saying anything, I can't hear you. I just, just letting you know. Is your, is your buddy cool? Whoa, 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 whoa. We're cool, we're cool. You want me to yeah, leave or hang out? Leave, man. Okay, yeah. all right, cool. I've been pestering this guy for about three minutes. I love how he's a hacker and he's paid for hacks to feel like he's superior to everyone else. But he's just there like, please just leave, man. Like, come on.
You're being so cringe. Stop it. And I finally pushed him to his limit. And don't forget about Raider. Just look at how locked on he is. Oh my. The one tap is coming. <laughs> yeah, okay, bud. I'd already gotten these yeah, guys yeah. to wiggle, but I wasn't recording. You gotta give me a break, though, man. I've had a bad cold. I cannot believe I wasn't recording. I know. I'm usually good about it, but I went to go get a drink while I was loading in, and I usually hit the recording. Messed up your flow. Hey, guys, what's up? Oh, dude, I, I'm, I'm friendly. I'm friendly. You gotta respect the wiggle, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. No. How many hackers are there? How many? Okay. He can't even stage this either because you, you can't have private servers in Tarkov. How many hackers are there in this game? This is like where people that don't hack are actually the minority. And I wonder how they know I have my knife out. <laughs> oh, you can make private servers. I thought you couldn't before. How are they missing this much? Because they're not good at the game. That's why they have the download cheats. Hey, uh, you guys have any deals? That was not appreciated. Yeah, just come around to the garage. I feel like you're going to kill me. You're not in a position to, to negotiate, my man. Sounds uh, like you're not doing so right, good. And this doesn't break the rule, but this is the closest <laughs> thing I did to killing a player. Sounds like you don't have much time, brother. Uh, no, I don't. You better hurry. Yeah, I bet you feel really good. No, come over here. And I'll give you heals, but you're the one that's not coming over here. I'm not even the one that shot at you. He's going to bleed out. I felt bad for this guy, but I needed to stay undercover. He's literally about to. He's going to drop dead here, before he gets to him. Look at his health. He will drop dead in front of him. He's not going to make it. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. He's going to die before. Mm -hmm. Look at his health. He can't even. Yeah, he's just going to flop. He's going to flop now. Get over here. Get over here. Come. Get the cover. Get the cover. Right, I'm gonna drop it on the ground for you. <laughs> <laughs> See that? <laughs> I was watching his health tick down and I was like, he's not gonna make it. It's gonna be so Le funny. Mau. That's how he ragdolled. See, I've earned these guys' trust. Yeah. You know? yeah. That was like a Gmod ragdoll, man. That was great. Listen, I wasn't gonna kill this Gav, and he could have just popped me right mm -hmm. there. Most hackers won't wiggle back, but it doesn't matter. The wiggle still works. They know I have ESP. When you're playing against normal players, they don't ever look at you like this on the radar. It's the fact they just point, snap onto him instantly. That's... Maybe he thought he saw something at my location and he's watching like a hawk. Like he's looking down as well. It's become very obvious. And I want to seal the deal in this interaction. Are you back, Travis? This guy's 100% cheating. <laughs> it's great how when they cheat but they try to not make it look obvious it's like that meme of uh like the fnaf security guard like checking the security footage checking the security tablet you know just like he just like looking all around i'm gonna get him to rage on me he just pop me in the head like he's gonna pop me in the head the second the second i show anything you ready <laughs> Call it. just one tapped completely one tapped through it through a bush by the way through a bush by the way Call it. <laughs> let's watch this back in slow motion he shot me through the bush without an actual sideline. Very fair. The server had a bit of... Very fair. He wasn't hacking. He, he just uh, <laughs> imagine just COVID. It's simply a difference in skill. It was not hacking. I'm so happy I don't play Tarkov, man. I'm so happy I don't. I don't even play it in my spare time. Like imagine actually putting like 100 plus hours into this game and then you get bodied and you get all your loot stolen apart from shit you put in the gamma case just because of some guy that was like cheating. And then even if you do get loads of loot, the server wipes anyway. You lose it all. Jeez, I wonder who's going to win this fight. Simply outplayed. Oh my god, just kill, of course. one taps. Let's see if he'll respond to the wiggle. He's gonna wiggle. No, he's leaning, he's leaning. Don't do it. Don't fall for the bait. No! No! I got my knife though. Peace, peace. I just saying peace. Nice kill. I don't know why I told him nice kill. You got that guy with like that guy earlier. What was his KD? Oh shit! I'm always trying to get them to verbally confirm that they're cheating. Huh? What was that other guy's? That guy was raging. The other guy, right? It was like 15, bro. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Too. I gotta lower it. <laughs> yeah. No, it's all good either way. So it's a cherry on top when you get the verbal confirmation of cheating. He sounded exactly like the kind of guy that would use Tarkov cheats as well. Uh, bro, yeah, I just, I like, I get it, man. Like, yeah, I just use cheats, bro. Like, uh, 
I gotta get that Zaza, bro. Uh, 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 uh. Did you see the the meltdown that happened on Reddit after the video? No, what happened? Were they just coping, saying the game isn't full of hackers? You ever wonder why it's so hard to get boss kills sometimes? The cheaters will get to them first, and they don't want you near it. People that buy hacks on Tarkov just do it so they can actually play the game while they're blazed on weed. Oh, this, this guy's raging. Jesus Christ, that guy was raging. Watching the radar really seals the deal on this clip. Check this out. There's a tree between us. This kind of works out. Oh. You can't argue with the wiggle. It's the closest thing to 100% confirmation. And I got better at identifying the cheaters. I would sometimes find them in back-to-back -back raids. One night, I ran into cheaters five raids in a row. I would love to share some stats with you. In my 125 raids, I never ran into a fly hacker. I had zero raids with the stinky leg invincibility hack. I never ran into anyone speed hacking. And it was actually quite rare that I got aimbot or rage hacked. There were obvious cheaters in about 60% of my raids. The best predictor that- 60%? He, he doesn't bump into like invincibility hackers or hackers that fly like fucking Superman. Because the game would be dead. People would just stop playing it. But you get these hackers that like they look normal, but they can hide their hacks really well. But a cheater would be in your raid is one simple thing. The number of people in the lobby. If a lobby had more people or was near full, it is almost guaranteed that a cheater is in your raid. Sometimes players would just avoid me and I couldn't really test them. The main subreddit mod started to remove this video everywhere so people couldn't use it to complain about cheaters. Then the devs put out two blanket statements that meant nothing. I can link the dev post. Yeah, link it. I only reached level 13, so it's not like I was able to outrun and catch up to anybody who really wanted to uh, evade me. The time of day matters. At uh, nighttime, I encountered more cheaters than early morning or midday. It's reasonable to assume that I missed many closet ES peers. I was only able to investigate a handful of people in every single raid. I like how he says it's only at night the hackers come about. Just actual no life degenerates. I say that by the way as I'm streaming at nearly one in the morning. Uh, often I would die to a PMC or a sniper's cab would give me away or something would happen that would prevent me from investigating more people in the raid. So while I would try to get around and check out as many people as I could, it's just impossible even though i literally confirmed 60 percent of my raids had a cheater in them the actual number has to be higher there's a lot more that i'd like to cover in this video all of the various discoveries i made about how cheaters act some of the sussy interactions that i couldn't 100 percent validate as a cheater including someone who was streaming live and much more such as the difficulty of getting past the stream proof feature of the esp very difficult to actually work. I deleted the game because of this. I bought the stupid edition, the most expensive one that gives you the gamma case. But even then, like I just couldn't, you know. Let's have a look at what the uh the, the, the devs have said. Let's see the cope. Let's see the copium. Escape from Tarkov. Hackers, cheaters, and other related scum of the earth. First of all, he hello everybody. It's been a long time. I was off Reddit every <laughs> It's been a long time. I was off Reddit. I took I took a two day break off Reddit, guys. Please forgive me. A problem with cheaters pops up and people immediately start blaming us for not caring. They begin to bury the game, us, and generally saying that they are sensitive to us. Therefore, I will not write essays for 1000 words here now. I will simply say point by point key moments. We've always been concerned with this problem and the work to catch cheaters is always ongoing. They usually come in waves. <laughs> they come in waves. We ban them. They get a new credit card and then they buy the hack on a different account. And they do it again. Right now we ban several thousand cheaters. <laughs> Several thousand a day. Imagine it being that bad. It's like you're talking about killing off the infected during the Black Death. Oh my God. You're talking about like bubonic plague victims here in England. Oh my God. We ban several thousand cheaters a day. Not even a, if it was a month, I'd get it. If it was a month, I'd get it. Usually most of them are blocked after playing a little. Battle light anti-cheat continues to improve. I mean, it, it is literally at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. It is, it is Windows firewall. I don't see how you can make it worse it's an eternal race to see who can get past each other's defenses and fast in the last week alone the battle has been updated four times yeah it's been updated four times each time it just makes the splash screen telling you it's battle eye lasts a little bit longer it doesn't actually improve the uh the anti-cheat at all what a mess we continue to improve our own additional cheater detection tools we will have an update soon and start working on a new hacker detection what, what i don't understand what they should do why don't they get employees to to sneak into these discord servers buy the hack and then reverse engineer it why don't they do that i could be speaking out my ass i don't really understand how like this works but if my company was being attacked the first thing i would do is get one of my employees to sneak into one of these discord groups and get the hack to see how it works the reporting system is also being improved any game company talking about the reporting system 
system being good is just the biggest cap I've ever heard in my entire life. It's almost like they, they only ban hackers because they realize, hang on a minute, if we ban someone that hacks, that means they have to buy the game again to hack. So we get more money. There's another follow up here. Start by manual bans people on market. 50 lead over 200 rep. Update. There is no update. <laughs> update. I found the copy paste command. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. The Reddit comment got highlighted. It's over. It's it's over. It's over for Reddit cells. You are saying the same thing you always do. Put your money where your mouth is. Ban obvious cheaters RTMing on the flea. You've been saying the same thing for years and it hasn't changed since the battle eye implementation. In fact, it's worse. And what's this? This was four years ago. Cheaters being banned instantly every day. Cheats being downed pretty often. We constantly work against... You're saying the same thing multiple times. In-game report function is... Oh my God. This is no different to what they said four years ago. If you're not happy with the situation, let us develop the unfinished game and let us finish everything. The unfinished game. It's almost like, you can't criticize us. You can't criticize us. Who is giving these awards? It, did, did they use the monthly budget of hackers rebuying the game to give themselves a bunch of awards? Okay, here we go. Hack Hackers, cheaters, and other related scum of the earth. We increased the overall detected ban speed on anti-cheat. <laughs> so now they'll just get banned in a week instead of a month. We've pushed two updates relating to our hack detection tools. We will continue to post ban lists. Notification feature if a player was banned in your report is in development. In Rainbow Six Siege, if someone gets banned for cheating, every single person that is playing Six Siege gets a notification, even if it isn't in your game. It could be just someone in like fucking China or something. And then you'll get the notification. Please continue to report sus players. Middle-aged man, type those words. Any major changes to AC we study will cripple the game for many players. The case for creating a perfect anti-cheat does not exist. No, uh, that's such a cope though. Like, no anti-cheat is perfect. But again, it's like you, you, you've got... I've never known a game to have worse hacking than Tarkov. Like, I play loads of Six Siege. I've basically never met a hacker in that game, ever. Yeah, that's just... It's cope. It's cope record the footage and what's the actual solution to the problem and why is it so bad recently and i'd love to do a follow-up answering all these questions as well as responding to the comments and the feedback that i'm inevitably going to get i'm going to end this video with an interview i hope you enjoy oh this is an interview yeah i don't care oh wait he made a follow-up am i banned hey there buds the uh -oh. question you've all been asking is was i banned and the answer is no. Okay, thank goodness. I don't have to watch the whole video. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You saved me. You saved me 13 minutes. <laughs> I appreciate it. Why is my guy smashing the door? Because it's flying.